Well, hello, world. This is Tosh Berman. This is Tea with Tosh. And our special guest is the, or the, Dark Bob. Hello, Dark, the Hi, Dark Tosh. Bob. What is the origin of the Dark Bob? Well, the origin, you mean how I got my name? Or, yes. Or how well, I was, just, just the whole everything. I mean, starting with your parents. You well, to start. uh, to start with my parents, I, I come from Santa Monica, California. Oh, I'm a local character. Beautiful community. It is. Mm -hmm. And it was always sort of an artsy community as well. You know, yes. Venice was happening down uh -huh. there. Uh, I'm a person who uh, uh, went on to art school after a normal childhood education and I uh, pursued a, a career in performance art. Well, how normal is your childhood if you're going to art school? Well, I, uh, I'd say it was fairly normal. Really? I mean, uh, the fact that I could draw, which uh -huh. is what I could, at that time thought that's what an artist was, uh -huh. was someone who could draw, it was a natural talent. So uh, I never thought it was any different than the guy who could, say, uh, jump over a six-foot pole vault or something. Well, why? I, I couldn't do that. But well, I could, why performance art? What got you interested in uh, Well, it's just uh, probably, you know, performance art as a, as a medium, it wasn't like I, I saw all my choices, like there's rock and roll, there's art, mm -hmm. there's performance, and then went into performance. It was, uh, it was just me as a painter, and I was in art school, and, mm -hmm. and I certainly am not the first artist or painter to do live work, you know, since mm -hmm. the 60s, like the happenings and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, artists had been doing performance. So uh, I just used it as another tool mm -hmm. in, in general for art making. And, uh, and, and really what that did was give me permission to be a multimedia artist. Mm -hmm. Because from there I was, it was not only the paintings, but it was films and music and mm -hmm. all kinds of things. Uh, do you still do paintings? Yeah, I do. Uh -huh. So you feel like you should do more than this actual work on canvas, or just like a retinal? Um, yeah, for me that's important. Uh -huh. Just individually, yes. So I, when you see it, when 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 you see a, a, the Dark Bob show, because you're not just Dark Bob, you're the Dark I'm Bob. I'm the Dark Bob. Because there's like other Dark Bobs in this world. Oh, there's all kinds of Dark Bobs. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, the Dark Bob. Yes. Okay. So, um, uh, uh, so when, when go see your performance, what do they see exactly? Well, they see what uh, what what I'd say is a multimedia show, mm -hmm. and uh, whether it it uh, satisfies people's uh, aesthetic needs as art is not so much a concern as mine. It does my needs mm -hmm. to be an artist, and mm -hmm. I know it's art. But basically, the, in the moment on the stage, it's sort of like entertainment. Mm -hmm. I'm get, I'm up there and I'm I'm communicating to people, and if I don't make it funny, interesting, uh, mm -hmm. smart, silly, whatever, mm -hmm. it's gonna just disappear. Mm. So uh, there was a lot of performance art, you know, done 10 or 15 years ago where the audience wasn't an important part of the mm -hmm. artist's concern. Mm -hmm. Whereas I really feel like I'm doing something with the well, audience. Well, your thing is almost like vaudeville. Kind of. You know, yeah. it's very entertaining in that sense. Yeah. I mean, you, have, I so. you show Super 8 films. I show Super 8 films uh -huh. that are funny. Uh -huh. I sing songs that tend to get uh, uh, serious, uh -huh. although uh, not always. Uh -huh. Uh, and I paint live on stage. You paint live on stage? Yeah. Oh, it's like a children's show. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose like, so. Uh, I'm like Kelly. a child. Yeah. It's a, it just uh -huh. changes. It just goes through time and space, uh, uh, breaking it up into many different experiences for the audience and for me as well. I don't want to get up and just be a comedian for an hour or no, whatever. No. Or be a protest singer or anything. Yes. You know, it's, I want to be everything. Now, you used to be in a group with another Bob called Bob and Bob. That's right. What do you... What, you, what, what is this Bob thing? You like Bobs? Or? Well, uh, I, the reason I'm the dark Bob is because of my work as Bob and Bob. Uh -huh. uh, he was the light Bob, I was the dark Bob uh -huh. in this team. Mm -hmm. He had lighter hair than I did. We'd get on the phone, people would say, which Bob am I speaking to? And I'd say, well, I'm the dark Bob. And, mm -hmm. um, he moved off to New York after about eight years in the performance mm -hmm. uh, world of L.A. here. And he and I toured and traveled a mm -hmm. lot. And... Uh, and so he's back and forth and all around, and we don't work much together anymore. Mm -hmm. and, and I've been uh, solo performing as the mm -hmm. Dark Bob and, and doing records as the Dark Bob and movies. Well, and but you have like a record out, don't you? This I certainly do. What, okay, what if this is there Uncontrollable is. Love? That's Uncontrollable Love. And this uh, is you. That's me. Wearing a dress or skirt, uh, I'm sorry. Yes. And um, how does it come about? Well, uh, after t touring, doing the shows and mm -hmm. stuff, this record was uh, put out by a company here in L.A., uh, that is pretty much an art world coming. They do books about artists' work and stuff, and this is the first record they've done. Mm -hmm. And uh, their investment and interest in me was as an artist, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. But um, 
but I have a very populist uh, feeling about my mm -hmm. work. You know, when I go performing, I try to get out of the art world and ask these people to sponsor me in clubs or theaters mm -hmm. or whatever so that uh, real townsfolks can come. And I have the same ambition with the record as well. Okay, now you brought a tape, uh, a song for this yeah, record. The, yeah, the uh, lead cut of this okay, record. Okay, now the is thing is, up. you don't have a video for that song. Uh, no, I don't even I don't perform this song either. It's a it's it was designed for the medium right of disc. Okay, so basically what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to ask the uh, camera people here to make their own video because we're gonna play the song. And while we audience. listen, yeah, we're just gonna listen. I think. All right, we're just gonna relax. Here we go. And uh, I'd like to hear the song. All right. It's possible. There's a lot of religious guts, and they're getting on TV. That's remarkable. Well, thanks. that's a remarkable record. Now, are you playing all the instruments, or uh, I'm playing the drums and the bass, and uh -huh. I'm uh, assisted by a fellow named Peter White, who's uh -huh. the electric guitarist, and he also uh, did the synthesizers. And there's a sitar in there. A sitar, yes. yeah. So that's sort of an Indianish. Yeah. But well, you have like a sort of a Eastern look too. There is a, a yeah. The, the, I'm very interested theme. in Middle Eastern music and uh -huh. and, uh, and the culture, and I was raised. I'm, I'm partially Lebanese. Uh huh. Uh, and uh, it's there, it's present. Have you been to the Middle East? No, I haven't. Would you like to perform in the Middle East? No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't? Why? No. Uh, I just think it's too dangerous and the people are crazy. Yeah, but something like the Dark Bob can bring these people together. Well, I don't know. <clears throat> it's very optimistic. I mean, uh, 
I mean, even the bright God hasn't brought those people well, together. You don't think art has a political uh, base, a power? Uh, it does, yes. Art can be politically mm -hmm. transforming. But uh, those people, I think, are destined to live on the planet as our barbarians <laughs> that keep us all awake. You know? So well, I just let them be, the, the, uh, the Arab countries, Israel, the whole... Bit. Well, they serve a purpose, I guess. Yeah. You know, keep you alert. That's right. Yeah, I think that's quite good. Actually, if I can just say something well, of related to you specifically, I think one of the strongest Hebraic images in the, uh, that's ever been, or some of them were created by your father, the artist Wallace Berman. Oh, wow. I mean it. Thank you. I mean, his uh, using the symbols of the Hebraic language and all that stuff, that was really powerful, uh -huh. made it look beautiful, celebrated it as art. Mm -hmm. And if you can bring beauty to a culture, you're doing what an artist does, I think. Uh -huh. well, I'll but to bring <laughs> political resolve uh -huh. is, uh, is, a, is an almost foolhardy ambition well, for an artist. Do you want some more tea? Well, sure. Give me more tea. This tea was made in, uh, uh, this is like a 1923 brew. I have like a, 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 a basement in my house. And basically I just keep these teas brewed uh, for like years. It's delicious, Tosh. Well, thank you. It's, yeah, it's really nice. Sometimes it's a little sour, but I think today it's especially yeah, good. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. it's really nice. So when you okay, when you perform, do you perform with a band? Uh, I have in the past, uh -huh. although for the most part, uh, since I tour the art world, which doesn't have uh, the most sophisticated facilities mm -hmm. around, I have uh, streamlined my show down to uh, an audio cassette and a reel of film. And on mm -hmm. the audio cassette is the band, mm -hmm. as well as other things, voices that I talk to and mm -hmm. so forth, and then uh, and then I show movies. But I'm putting together a band right now for Are a you? show here in L.A. Oh, great. Where? At the Roxy. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, great. So, um... Which but is not your ordinary art space, no. but uh, but I'm gonna. Do you want to get out of the art world and since I go more? Um, well, I, I the personally outers? feel like I am kind uh -huh. of out of the art world. It's it's uh, the art. <sighs> yeah, I mean you know, I've, I've been there. It's not like I'm trying to leave anything. It's yeah, just expand. Yeah, I'm just growing. Uh huh. And uh, it's nice to have a, a certain amount of respect there, and it's mm -hmm. and it's been a mm -hmm. long fun time here being an artist in L.A. and. Um, but it's but time to move on. Yeah, I've, I've uh, had much more conference. fun developing my audience out in the country, uh -huh. and those people aren't the same kind of ivory tower mm -hmm. anesthesians that you find in L.A. or in New York. Mm -hmm. you know? They're just people who, who are looking for something inspiring. And well, I heard rumors that you're going to uh, maybe do like a live song. Well, I have just written a, a song. Oh yeah, what is and, it? Uh, and it? Well, it's called The Batman's Lament, and, uh -huh. uh, and uh, The Batman has been a kind of an influence on me. Uh, and it's a it's a story song, and I wanted to take the chance of singing it here live on. on I the love show. Batman. Oh, great! Well, I then you might Batman like the song. Person. Actually, yeah, okay. So if I could do it, uh, yeah, absolutely. Forgive me if I stumble and, and no, fall. please, it's live TV. It's okay, but you shouldn't stand up too. Yes. Begin low. Okay, all right. But they can fix it. Cut. We want this noticed. Oh, okay. Sorry. So uh, I suppose I'm just gonna have to. Uh, See if, if, actually, is this the camera that's on right now, this one here? Yeah. If you could please notice over here, what I have to do is read this song. Oh, yeah, who is that person? Uh, that's Mrs. The Dark Bob. Oh, Mrs. The Dark Bob. Hi, how are and you? And she's giving me a you. hand there. So, oh, thank uh, you. this is called The Batman's Lament. Okay, great. Terrific. He put the clutch to the floor. He heard the engine roar He grabbed that stick once more And tore out like a giant He's on his way to the scene of a crime He shows up just in time He's the Batman And no one's defiant He's awake in a dream that has eroded Guns are being loaded We fight for territory We write a terror story to tell In Gotham City the restless show no pity Half of them steal what the other half tries to sell 
And as he hears the thunder, he begins to wonder, can the power of violence topple us? I ain't that Superman in this ain't Metropolis. I'm just a very private, private detective whose only hope is that my work be effective. Oh, 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 oh. Well, Batman thinks of his mom and his dad about the life they never had. Senselessly shot in the street And the memory comes complete With the sound he will often repeat Well, and tonight there's something out there You can hear it shriek Now get the picture of a clown who waits. He paints his face. His heart is as cold as a Minnesota winter lake. Man, this joker be cautious and courageous. His evil is outrageous. Let's hope it's not contagious for our sake. This is really no joke no more. The Gotham streets are zoned for war. Joker knows his plan will work. He doesn't care about who gets hurt. He's gonna burn the library down and spread the flames all over this town. Oh, 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 Batman! You can barely see his shape beneath his dark blue cape in that delicate, mysterious man. On patrol, he could feel in his soul a flaming downtown burning beyond control. And with an almost radar sense, he is our only defense against dying in a burning bowl. While others worry and wonder and go on searching, the Batman is lurching on the library tower. He waits, and as the Joker pulls up, I told you I just wrote this. I'm going to get through it, though. And sure enough, as the Joker pulls up, we see a man who wants to show the world how much he can paint. Yes, he can. And as his cronies go about their deed, pouring the gasoline the flames would need, the Joker stands with his book of matches, and in his mind the vision hatches. Oh, oh, can the Batman stop this thug? Can the Batman squash this bug? Batman throws his bat rope to a hydrant thug. He uses all his strength to give it a tug. He says, oh, oh. Well, Batman thinks of his mom and his dad about the life they never had. Senselessly shot in the street 
When the memory comes complete With a sound he will often repeat Well and tonight there's something out there You can hear it shriek <laughs> The water shot from the city street And soaked it so complete that the joker and his men tried to flee but the batman leaps and he downs these creeps he ain't about to let any of these suckers get free and as he hears a thunder well he begins to wonder can the power of violence top us I ain't that Superman in this ain't Metropolis. I'm just a very private, private detective whose only hope is that my work be effective. Oh, oh. That's like the ultimate thing about Batman. Well, it will be. <laughs> What made you write about I Batman? Learned the words. What, what is it about Batman that you find you find Thank so you, intriguing? Thank you, Mrs. Dark Bob. Thank you, Mrs. Dark, the Dark Bob. Well, the song obviously gave me a chance to deal with light and dark and mm -hmm. good and bad, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, we live in a world where careless violence occurs, not unlike Gotham City. Have you ever read the, like, the first Batman comic strip? The first. Well, Batman? the thing that got me excited about Batman was reading the redo recently. Oh, really? I, yes. I didn't read it, but I did see it. Yeah, it's. Uh, the first Batman was pretty, you know, pretty murderous. He had a gun. And he just shoots him. Oh no 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 no. Didn't he? No, he was very creepy, but he was never. He was always a non-violent uh, criminal. Ba His, Batman criminal. Yes. Non. I'm sorry. <laughs> A non-violent. Oh, I see. Uh, yes. We we'll see what man. side you're on. He was a detective. Uh huh. Uh, not a superhero. No. And that's one of the reasons I like him as well. But didn't he shoot people in, oh, the, in the first concert? Oh, absolutely not. No, no, no. He see, he became a superhero because his parents were shot. Yeah, that's kind of tragic. Yeah. So he he when he was a little boy, uh, he vowed to avenge his parents' death by fighting senseless crime. And he did a lot of exercises and uh, he did exercises, and he developed his mind. That was the trick. And did he meditate? A, a or sleuth. What uh, he, he did after he moved to Sacramento and uh, was fighting crime up there during the Jerry Brown administration mm. here in California. Yeah. Batman was meditating for a while. What kind of villains were they? There were no villains. Uh, <laughs> just a steady stream of consciousness that uh, <laughs> drove him straight back to Gotham City. Did he grow a beard? No. No. I, I should grow a beard with the mask. I think it might be kind of interesting. It would be kind of, uh, yeah. kind of a funny display of yeah. facial. But you think that he had like his own artist studio, too, underneath the, uh, the Bruce right, Wayne Bat Manor. Cave. That's right. That's kind of interesting. That's right. It was a studio. Yes. Well, I feel much like the Batman. There's a certain secret identity I have, and, and, uh -huh. and you go out and you... Uh, <laughs> I didn't prove uh -huh. such a thing just now, but you go out and, pr and do your heroic deed of performing, you know, uh -huh. and... Uh, and uh, so, you know, the Batman is just uh, another part of it all. Hmm. What well, about the other, do you like anybody else besides Batman? What's another big influence in your <sighs> Well, background? there's, uh, I could just n name all sorts of things that have influenced me. I love so many things, mm -hmm. cultural things. I'm just a culture buff, you know, and I can go from Batman to Duchamp to, uh, to Picasso to uh, Bob Dylan to Walt Disney. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I love to see people uh, use their creativity to express their individual mm -hmm. individuality and then mm -hmm. have a lot of people relate to that. Have you ever seen, uh, did you ever see the Snow White? I haven't seen it, no, it's been re-released. No, no, I haven't seen it either. No. I miss it every three years. Yeah. What I, do you, I would like to see it. But, did you ever watch the Mickey Mouse fan club on TV? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, no, and were you a loyal... Uh, uh, I was Musketeer fairly person. loyal, you know. It, it didn't get me. Mickey Mouse was never an influence on me. Walt well, uh, Disney was. Yeah. But uh, the rodent never did it much for me. Yeah, I like Max Flesher personally myself. You know, well, Betty that Boop. Was Betty Boop. And, and Popeye. That's right. Those are both really great yeah. characters. Yeah. I see Madonna is using Betty Boop as a way of as a role model. seeing herself. <laughs> yeah. Which is interesting it, it, because Betty Boop is, is all head, uh -huh. you know. And, and uh, Madonna is. Uh, not necessarily a big <laughs> head. Well, maybe she has a big head. I'm not well, sure. Well, the hairdo. I think the blonde, you know, the, the bleach hairdo. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Good. So are you going to go on tour now? Well, what's your future plans? Well, my future plans is to go on tour, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I'm going to be doing a tour of the South 
pretty soon. And then in December, I leave to do uh, the middle of America. Mm -hmm. And hopefully by then, I'll have my Batman song uh, together. Well, it seems to me, I thought it was great. Did I thought you? it sounded okay. great. Is she going to come along too, Mrs. Dark Bob? Mrs. The Dark Bob will be involved in dancing. Oh, great. And, uh, Part of she's the show. going to be uh, contributing quite a bit to the, to that, to the Middle Eastern exotica of the show because she is a belly dancer. Oh, really? So, oh. yeah. Well, gee, maybe she can be on my show. Just, you know. Just as a belly dancer. It's Mrs. The Mrs. Dark Bob. The Mrs. The Dark Bob. Okay. Is there any other Bobs I should, we should be getting on the show? Or well, I don't know. Any other Bobs? Uh, no, I really uh, don't know any other. Because tell you the truth, you're the only Bob I know or I met. I don't know any other Bobs. Well, uh, let me see. I can think of a few Bobs I know, but they'd be irrelevant to mention. Huh. Are, now, are you in the phone book as the Dark uh, Bob? No, I'm not. Bob and Bob were in the phone book for a while, but really? we keep, kept getting calls uh, making Long. reservations for Bob <laughs> Burns' restaurant. <laughs> so I would take the reservations, you know. What the heck? How many in your party? You know, I'd write it down. Are you hungry? You want to eat something? A little bit. Isn't there a Denny's up somewhere? Yeah, are, real, are you hungry too? You're, Miss Dark Bob, are you hungry too? I, yeah, I think we're going to eat. I think we're going to eat. But, Have we um, done 30 entire minutes? Uh, 29 and something seconds. Well then, what the heck? We don't have to stay here. No, well, Dark, uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Tosh. Thank you so much. And thank you, Mrs. Dark Bob. And thank you, Rila. And uh, thank uh, my mom, my uncle, everybody, the world. Uh, so long, goodbye, adios, uh, sayonara, and uh, basically that's all I have to say. Beat it. <laughs> <laughs>